Hello and welcome. This is a quick review of my room in the Ibis Hotel in Barking, London. And I must be barking mad. I've come to London for the YouTube show, which is on at the Excel Centre. Uh, I'm here in this hotel. I chose it uh, booking.com. There's uh, going to be a, a link down below. And you can actually get um, £15 off uh, discount off your off your booking. Basically, they give you 15 quid in back, back in cash back uh, if you book through my link. And, of course, just to let you know that I get £15 as well. Now, I chose it because it's actually not very far. It's about three miles down the road to the XL. I have actually been to this location before. Not this hotel, but this location, because all of the karate that I do is actually down the road. When I um, when I chose this room, I chose it for, obviously, for priority for location, uh, price, and also, I didn't really expect it, but... I asked for an accessible room and lo and behold I got one so this is actually a supposedly it's a wheelchair friendly room and it has a, uh, a, a walk-in shower with a seat which I'll, I'll show you that in a minute but the room itself is not that big I think that if you had a wheelchair come in then the wheelchair would probably have to be on this side of the bed I mean the bed is not huge, it's not a big bed, but it's a, it's a, it's a double, put it that way. Uh, the other side is a bit tight for space. And there is an inter interconnecting door there, so if you had like a family, you could actually book two rooms and have it go through to the other room. Luckily for me, I did check to see if it was locked, because I didn't really fancy any, any visitors last night. <laughs> And I actually put my walking stick on the door handle just to, just in case somebody does come in and uh, it, it will fall on the floor and wake me up. As far as the the bed is concerned, it's moderately soft. Uh, it's obviously, you know, first night you always don't sleep. So I didn't really have a very good night, although I did sleep because I do remember dreaming so if you dream then obviously you have some deep sleep um, but apart from that it was okay I mean the bed is okay the pillows are okay um, decor is quite nice there is actually an air conditioning unit as well although I do as you can probably hear I do have the window open um, I've opened that up this morning I didn't, didn't have it open last night but the traffic going by is really noisy However, so uh, we are going to have a look around the room, I think. That would be a good idea. <coughs> and the, the Ibis uses the same as every other hotel. They have the, the card access. And we are on, uh, we're on the first floor. I've no idea what that means. So this is the this weird in, in con, connect, this sort of connecting door here uh, there's a TV there's a sort of a, a little area there with spare pillow now there is a kettle and you can make coffee making uh, you know obviously coffee making equipment you can make not very good coffee but the only problem is there's no plug so the kettle's down here and I've had to bring my own plug which obviously I use for charging and then this is the bathroom so we have a, a walk-in bathroom with uh, lots of flies apparently so we're going to the the YouTube show channel creator uh, later on and there is a pool court which I'm pleased to say goes 
all the way down to the floor. And there's a seat for you to shower, shower seat. And the water is pretty good. The only issue I have with the bathroom is that this floor surface is not very stable. If you're, if you're, if you're um, not very good on your feet, then you may find that there is a bit slippery and there's no bars apart from this one over here. So there's only, only one bar and of course a sliding door. Disabled parking bays outside. This hotel, I miss, you have to pay for parking. What? What's that about? Surely they can afford three pounds for parking. And they put, um, the difference in price will be that if you book through booking.com, then you will expect to pay the extra for the commission they have to charge. Uh, but if you look on the wall in reception, you'll see the real price. So don't be shocked uh, if you do that, because uh, it's expected. I, mean, I was told that by another hotelier that they do charge a, a commission. So that was they're going to charge you that as well. So if you had, if you do book uh, direct to Ibis, then you will probably get it slightly cheaper. Um, Oh yeah, so three pounds a day parking, which they add on to your bill. I have no idea why. You're already spending 85 quid a, a night. Surely they can afford to let you park your car for free. However, that's my gripe about this hotel. Um, and actually, to be truthful, I didn't, didn't actually see that in the in the clauses. It is there because I have checked. Uh, disabled base. Obviously, when I arrived. There was a BMW parked in the bay uh, with no badge, so there you go. And uh, one the other side of me was also parked there when I arrived, but later on it had gone. There is a small t restaurant type thing downstairs in reception. I wouldn't call, call it gourmet food and I wouldn't call it cheap. So if you can go out to somewhere else to eat, I would recommend that there is actually a, a premier in next door so somewhere around here there will probably be a beef eater or some other type of chain uh, of restaurant i didn't look last night because i got here and i just wanted to you know unpack and uh, eat food and then go to bed so i didn't really have a look but i'm sure there will be because it's um, the premier in they normally have a a restaurant next door to it so I shall have to have a look later on and see what I can find. Uh, you will have the water there because the uh, car park is sort of in this is this building's in the middle of nowhere, uh, it's sort of off off the A12 I believe. I think that's the A12 uh, barking in barking. Um, so that is that is it really. Um, I had uh, a curry last night. It was 12 quid. You know, no, it wasn't wasn't huge. Uh, in size and it wasn't um, spicy or anything like that so it was average and the thing about London today and this next week is that they're, uh, they're on about athletics so there's going to be lots of traffic in in, uh, in this part of the, the uh, London because the London Olympics thing, the um, venue is over there somewhere Right, that's it. I've chatted for a long time. I hope you like this video. This is a quick review for a hotel accessible room in Barking, the Ibis chain. And it's um, okay, it's not too bad, not too bad. Hello, just an update for the Ibis Hotel here. It was second night, came back uh, last night and the door card wouldn't let me into the lift and they reckon it was because I had it near a mobile phone well I had my mobile phone uh, in my pouch with the card in the front but it wasn't they weren't next to each other so obviously that's something that uh, you need to be aware of and the other more important thing is that they come in the, the 
made the beds, which was fine, but they didn't replenish any of the stock so that the um, milk and the sugar for today, there's none, there's none left, so there's no sugar in, there's no sugar and there's no there's only one milk that's because I had the sugar yesterday and the three there's only four together but they had three in the cup of coffee because it was too strong so I can't have coffee today and they haven't replenished the stock um, on the second night so all in all I just thought I'd uh, let you know about that because that's um, something that you need to be aware of I'm checking out now, so hopefully uh, the checkout will grow okay. Bye for now.